Welcome back <laughs> to the show. I am not your host again, John McClay. Uh, That's right, because I'm the host, Tony Stevens. Was, thanks for joining us. going to get to that. Oh, <laughs> thanks for, for helping me out, though. No, no, I'm trying That's to... That's always me. appreciated. Yeah, I'm trying to be a part this of This is kind of like a Ed McMahon, Johnny Carson kind of thing. I oh, like it. So I'm going to call you Ed, then. But this is... Another Saturday Night Gaming presentation. This is Hands of Greed out of Heavenscape. I am your host, your GM, and your moderator, Tony Stevens. I'll go ahead and let each of my cast and crew introduce themselves, their characters, and a little bit about what's going on with them in current, uh, starting at my right. I'm Laura, and I'm playing Ace, and I think we're having a discussion with Fort Dora, too. Correct. And the War of Four Twos. The War of Four Twos. The War of the Four Two. That's nice. I like that. I'm Quinn. I'm playing Soul. I just had a truth bomb projected into my brain about the time war. The War of Time. Or the War Throughout Time. Yeah, you got Jack. Yeah. I'm Ronnie. I'm portraying Mr. Smiles. He is currently... On top of a bunch of lifeless corpses watching this dragon just... Eat? Yeah, eat. Thank you. Devour their <laughs> souls. Consume, devour everything. Filter feed. Like anything that's energy, anything that's living, it's, it's just feeding on it. And this little guy named Scabs told me, Hey, help me and my master defeat this thing. Nice. All right. Uh, my name's Chuck. I'm playing um, Dark. And we are also having the discussion of the Battle of the Four Twos. And my name is Chrissy, playing the character Red. Um, she's basically where everybody else is with learning this war with the Fedora Two. See where that goes. All right. And you, sir? I am uh, Fedora 2. I mean, I'm John. <laughs> uh, my character is Fedora 2. My co host, thank you for your time today. <laughs> we appreciate you every day. I appreciate you guys. I just want you guys to know. And that's what we appreciate about yeah. you. That then you I appreciate, appreciate you. us. Yeah. yeah. Well, then I, I'll keep Mutual appreciation all around. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and um, we'll pick up back with the discussion, the debate of the War of Synthetics. Currently riding a giant void dragon around the Tower of Four Twos, or Fedora Twos, uh, with Fedora Two pleading for you to not destroy his hive mind. Mm. If you kill yourself, if you, if you kill another four two for daughter two, is it suicide or is it murder? If I kill yeah, if, a like four if you, two yeah, and not you, a fedora two? I mean, technically, like, physical. The physical body is the same, but, like, the innards are different. It'd be more like, you know, killing a bad habit. Oh, that's, oh wow. I didn't think of it like that. That's deep. Uh, uh, fedora too is very it's very as they, <laughs> how would they say uh, spiritual <gasps> really are you growing yeah, a don't soul get, don't get too excited <laughs> hey I know I've asked you this before but do you want soul bond no <laughs> oh by the way it puts my hand on this chest and I wipe away the engraved room Ah, oh, but it looks so cool yes but it was ticking the time bomb yeah, he was going <laughs> to... It was there to blow you up. Oh. <laughs> but you still have your finger paint one. Yeah. Can we make it do something cool? <laughs> I mean, me personally, all I can make it do is blow up. Uh, do you want it to blow ooh, up? Can we make a thing where, like, okay, so, like, it's a disc, like, on my chest, and I can take the disc off and throw it, and then it blows up. Mm. Yeah, it's possible. Okay, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Do you want to Once exploding this? shurikens. I'll give you one. Okay. We will see how you handle it. What's this yield? Duh. You know what? I think it would probably be best to base it off of the delayed blast, which starts out, which is a base 12. Mm -hmm. um, 
The spell itself, however, each turn it doesn't detonate, it gets a plus one to damage. Oh gosh, it's a lot of math. Yeah. So keep track of it. <laughs> Do you have like something like a, a disc? I got a piece of paper with a bunch of stats on it. Let me. Well, that's I, I can't write. Well, technically, I I could put it on a piece of paper. That would be. That's a really good idea, actually. Explosive runes on paper. Give it to someone. <laughs> Walk away very sneakily. Oh, ha ha! And then pff, they go to bed. <laughs> Here's a love letter from Saul. They smudge <laughs> of dust on the ground. Nice. Maybe that's what I do. That's how we kill Stein. I just send them a, bunch, a book. Each page. Send them a Valentine's Day card. Yes. Each page will have the rune on it, and when he opens it, kaboom. All right, so where are y'all settled on um, trying to destroy the tower? I am still of the plan that I threw out before I lost any you know, monochrome of intelligence, a wireless transfer of the data to um, to destroy the four twos. Just shoot it out into space, into the ether. Yeah, something, I don't know. Yeah. It could work. Disguise it as a distress signal. So you would upload whatever disk she has into this tower to make it a projection. Yeah, like send it out, like disguise it as a distress, sig- sig- uh, mm-hmm. distress signal of a 4-2. Picks it up. But it won't work because... It'd be, it's encoded to Fedora 2's. So what he's saying is this tower as a beacon projects the Wi-Fi mm-hmm. information to Fedora 2's. That's why so many of them have picked up wearing hats and trying to be people. And it was received and as being a corrupt f- version of... 4-2 yeah. sect close them off, like cut off ties because they view them as the infection. Could a skilled hacker not bypass that limitation? Mm. I mean, out of character, so I wouldn't know anything about hacking, but like... No, I'm, I'm hearing you. What do you think, Using as a Wi-Fi router, that'd basically be like person next door. So it's like gotta, rehack it's the It's gotta tower. have the, you know, it's the hash has to match, right? So they don't accept any code that doesn't match the whole code. Right? So you would have to project from this, you'd have to use this tower to match the original 4-2 code yeah. in order to project that out. But then of course that would cut off the tower to the other 4-2, the Fedora 2s. Correct. Which they're currently using to communicate Permanently? with each other. Permanently? Well this is the only tower that's connecting Fedora 2s so through I'm, the multiverse. So if I'm looking at it like, like a Wi-Fi signal, I don't see like wait, why couldn't you be like your neighbor figuring out the password to your Wi-Fi's firewall and bypassing a password? So he's saying I mean I get it's to, more complicated than that, but so you use it to blast out the code and then reboot it. I guess is what he's asking. Sure. Basically, turn it off and then turn it back on to blast out the code. But what's to say? Like, okay, so if 142 receives that code, gets infected, and tries to send it to another 42, the other 42s will detect it, won't they? And then not communicate. Well, I mean, unless it's. Unless it's a worm. Unless it's some sort of, like, amazing thing. So it could I mean, be. Because how, how fast is it. data travel, though? Well, it's be a light. Yeah, so, like, would it be. Would 42 realistically be able to stop it faster than the speed of light? Well, maybe... Because uh, if he's able to move and do stuff at the speed of light, I think that brings in a whole bunch of other complications. We could probably, at this point, say that these things are happening at, on like some sort of subspace level. Mm-hmm. Like, because things seem to be moving well, a lot faster than the speed of light. Then, out of character, I think there's nothing really else to do at the tower. I mean, I think you could try it and then see what happens. Uh, but you'd be, like, <sighs> cutting off communication of the Fedora 2s. I mean... At least for a little while. Is, is it a you risk we're willing to take, on. though? If you turn I mean, it back on... I, Sol as a character is willing to do it. If you turn it back on... Do it himself. And set it back up again, then I guess we can we can do that. I think you'd be assisting them in doing that. Do you know how... Can, could the, you help with that, Dark? Yes. All right, we got super genius here, too. Hacker extraordinaire. 
Okay, so everybody's agreed you're going to try to upload the information and reboot the tower? Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> flying your dragon down to the tower, uh, you're greeted oh. by the bearded 4 2. Hello, wise wizard. <laughs> what is your name? I am wise. I am Tim Too. Tim Too. Tim Too? Wait, that's heard. Tim that was assimilated. I do have a wonderful fake beard. And a love for cats. What can I do for you? We're trying to destroy 4-2. Mm -hmm. He's the one that loves cats. Tom's afraid of cats. Tom's afraid of cats, oh, yeah. Tom the God. Tim was raised by oh cats. God, there's so many of them. <laughs> there's Toms and Tims. And that's why they had the falling out, because Tim didn't reveal that he comes from cats. Uh, to Tom, I mean, they were obviously dating for a little bit. <laughs> they were uh, obviously and dating. And so they had a huge falling out, uh, and they don't really talk to each other anymore. <laughs> you betrayed me with cats. Ah. Well, there you go. So I'm Tim Two. What can I do for you? Help us destroy Four Two. Well, that's what we're all trying uh, no, to do. No, exactly. So, uh, let's do it. Kill the four twos. Let's, let's do it? it? Yeah, kill the four twos. Kill the four twos. Peace. Let's How do you it. suppose that we do this? I'm not really a technical kind of person. I just hit and melt things. But I have friends who know how to do computer things. I'm assuming it's the fellow in the hoodie. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Done. Yes. Okay. Yes. Everybody says yes. Oh! Fedora 2 1 Prime Fedora. Yes. You're here. So. Yes. Do you have something that we can use as a no, weapon? No, I don't, but. Uh, Ace, he needs the disc. Please. Him? Don't give it to her. Wait a second. Wait, what? Never mind. I, I thought this was two. five minutes ago. The sorry. one with the beard. So I give it to the dude. No. Oh, wait. Sorry. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> you give it. Ignore give it. Fedora 2 at the moment and give the man with the beard the disc. Okay. Please. <laughs> Wait. I will take it from you? Questioningly? Excellent. Tim, we need to take the tower down for a moment, load this disc in, pull the tower back up, transmit that disc, pull the tower back down, and then put it back on like nothing happened. Nothing. Ah, this will take a very advanced hacker. I'm not one, but <laughs> I know cats. Are you cats? Sir, we will upload this into our mainframe. Hopefully you can guard us from the bad code. We would not want to be infected by it. And shoot your 4-2 blast into the ether. Can you hit cold? What, what, like? Like a hammer. That is all I got. All I can do is hit no. things. I would okay. probably say... No. Okay, well, then I will just sit here to crisscross applesauce. All do right. your thing, Ota. Be awesome. So, we'll have you do a roll for... This will be the next series of rolls that you'll need to do. We'll do a roll for taking down the tower, uploading the code... And then reformatting the tower after you've done the code. So we'll set each one at 30. So give me your first roll for taking down the tower. Thirty-five. Awesome. So that'll work. And then we'll get back around to that in just a second. Now down uh, at the base of the tower, uh, red you would notice that there is this well in the distance that seems to be blasting light out of it in strange rhythmic patterns. It's a disco. It's the action. <laughs> Hell's Premier yeah. Club. That's interesting. Uh, suppose I could take a look and see what's going on. All right. So um, 
anybody else, Soul or Ace, if you notice her running off towards the well, it's not going to be like she's sneaking about trying not to be seen by you. Um, but you would run over to the well, and as you get there, you can tell that whatever energy it is that's coming out of this well seems to it's be... It's worth millions. It almost makes you feel like you have the flu each time the wave of energy hits you. Like, you feel depleted and tired. <sighs> um. It's the well. It's doing it. It's hurting you. Get the way. Strange. I will not stay near that well if it's making me tired. Um. What to do? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this. Lay down, take a nap. <laughs> you know what? I'll do that. <laughs> Since it is making me tired. <laughs> so you would see her just fall asleep next to the well. well that is she weird. Props up. Oh, Thor, can you handle this? Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Also, do you mind I call you Old Thor or do you prefer going by your new name, Dark? You can call me Old Thor. Okay. I love you, Old Thor. I'll be back later. Then if you accidentally kill the four doors too, I'm not going to be upset. I heard that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. He made a funny. See, I know how to make a joke. I go and I go to the well. All right. So as you look down into it, same thing kind of like feels like this strange flu-like symptom. Oh. You feel depleted of fire. Like some of your fire actually like leaks down into the well as the Ew. light. Oh, that's no, gross. Give that back. Hello. Anybody down there? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, she snores really loud. She must be related to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Smiles, uh, where you're standing with Scab right now, you hear this mm -hmm. muffled stop. voice. Hello, anybody down there? Oh, it looks like someone else is coming. They give you to the count of two. Two! And I jump down. <laughs> he does a three-point landing with the hammer smashing into the ground for his superhero landing. Did you see how cool that was? A bunch of these practicing. shriveled dead bodies like explode out from him as he hits the ground. I've been practicing that. I waited for it so long. And I got to do it. 9.9 .9 out of 10. Just oh, come on, man. That is worth 10 points at least. <sighs> Almost. What? Okay, do you feel like you had really bad mead or like you, your tummy hurts? I feel fine. That's weird. Yeah, that's how you look up and see in the distance. The rhythmic light seems to be coming from this dragon that towers in oh. the sky, devouring energy and this essence a, into it. Dude, it's a dragon. It's yeah. Pretty cool. About that. Do <laughs> you want to go... <laughs> Pull a prank on it, go break a tooth out, maybe? Well, Wait a second, if you're a pacifist, what good were you going to do down here? Well, sometimes being a pacifist... I do mean fight sneaking sometimes. up on sleeping creatures? It's That's not weird sleeping. cold. Oh, is it not asleep? I thought it was asleep. No, it's eating. Oh. Well, then maybe I shouldn't be yelling. Probably uh, who cares? not. Hello, dragon. What oh. is your name? Oh, gosh. I just he Mr. Smiles face palms. Good lord, I'm crazy, but I'm not mad. <laughs> Actually, yes, I am. Wait, your All name's right. mad? I thought it was Smiles. Oh, good God. Hello. Maybe you can help me. Are you the person the little scab fellow was telling us about? Maybe. Is this the dragon that answers? Oh, you talking to the dragon? Yeah. The dragon seems to continue to eat, but there is somebody off in the distance that seems to turn around to the sound of your voice. Oh, this is weird. Who's this, li who's this little guy in the distance? He jumps. Oh, God. He's incoming! He's going to hit Ish. us! So you see this 
this figure, this tiny little one inch man in the distance jumps. And then as he gets closer and closer, you're like, oh, relative size. Oh, as he lands in distances. front of you <laughs> in shining glory with freaking axes and maces and armor and glowing eyes. He hugs him. Oh, soul cries. He's like, oh. Little brother. brother, it's you! Ah, uh, no, it is me, Togrum. What are you doing down here? What am I doing down here? Is it what does I just ask? Well, the... Crazy Bald Man. Oh, I hear a lot about Bald Man. Yes, yeah, I think his name was, uh... Steen? Steve. Steve. Yes, Steve. That sounds Definitely right, Steve. Steve. Evil man, bald Steve. Yes. Yeah, Steve sounds right. He kind of sounds like me, but not this cool. I think he's copying my voice. Well, anyways, he snapped his fingers and I ended up here. And there's this dragon so sorry that obviously happen. needs to be stopped. How do you... I want to learn how to make people go away with snap. Well, apparently you have to consume a uh, celestial... Why would we do that? That's so gross. That does like cannibalism. Ask Steve. That's cannibalism for us. <laughs> and of course, there's Smiles sitting next to y'all who's like, Oh, I've never consumed a Celestial. Brother, <laughs> here's my friend. His name is Smiles. He is like us. Not, well, not like us like us. He's crazy. But like not in the good way, I don't think. Not in a good way. Yeah, he's all the time making jokes. They're funny. But misplaced. What do you mean, not in a good way? Oh, see, look, he's doing it now. It's so weird. He, he uh, uses jokes like... You are like really weird. Conversational pieces. You're smiling, but you're not smiling. That is odd. Yes, I call... He picks I, him up by his head. <laughs> and like, I, just As kind of he picks him up and he looks at him... He actually notices that something very familiar dangles from his back. You have the irritated blade! Oh, yes, I forgot to tell you that. Excuse part. me? The irritated blade! Do you see, my brother used to wield that uh, sword at one point. It was an axe. He just. Okay, well, first off, I'm married to the entity that's inside the blade. It's not irritated, it's actually pleased right now it's misunderstood. thank you <laughs> it's misunderstood we get you so whatever you did hold on she's never met you before so evidently it was someone else that was really irritated oh. <laughs> it was their protector that was irritated with you because you're dull and thick-headed and an idiot hey you don't <laughs> talk to my brother like that only i get to but what? I mean, like, How dare you? He slaps him. No! Dogram, don't hit me, please. He doesn't slap him, he slaps Mr. Smiles. Uh, don't I break! I have to, what's the... Uh, we'll give you a 30 on that. 30. Don't break what I'm... <sighs> Catening it called fake smile. This is right, fake so teeth. let's see. Pretty soon all people will have them, trust me. He don't have no mask anymore. Oh, what did no. You roll? I rolled a one. Are you looking to okay. keep that one, or do you have a... Oh, I have no, nothing. He doesn't have favors. He always spends them. He <laughs> does now, but... And your neck gets snapped. Oh, oh. All right. oh that's all good. Well, actually, so what happened to him? So, <laughs> as Thulgrim slaps Mr. Smiles, uh, that breaks. would definitely... Uh, fracture the mask, and cause a thunderclap of immense noise and proportion. Everybody upstairs, outside the well, even on top of the tower, would hear <clears throat> the clap of thunder <clears throat> that would even wake the dead. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? That was good form. Now, Ace, Red, uh, Dark, go ahead and give me a second roll for uploading the data from the drive into the beacon's Thirty-one. Awesome. 
So successfully projecting out the signal. Um, now, as that thunderclap has occurred, uh, Remy, Adin, even John the Red would run over to the to the well. Uh, Ace, I don't know if you would <laughs> see like, Red Red's and like <laughs> come over to the well at all. Probably. Fedora two. What would your interest be? Oh yeah, he'd go he'd go over there. <laughs> what would happen? Mon cher, what's going on here? Were you knocked out? I think I was. Was somebody <laughs> attacking you? <laughs> Did somebody from inside that well attack you? I don't know. I just, I heard, I saw this light and I was feeling incredibly tired. And then before I knew it, I almost passed out. Then all of a sudden, this loud thunder woke me up. It must be like hypnosis. That's what it'd be. Well, that solves it. We got to go down there. Or at least I do. You stay here. Take a nap. <laughs> he jumps down. Of course, Adine would follow him. And John the Red would look down and wiggle his eyebrows. What would he think? He'd probably go down there to investigate. He'd jump down the well. It sounds like action. Yeah. To uh, the he action. probably announce that, yeah. To the action! As he jumps down into the well. Do we hear the, to the action? <laughs> like a call to arms. Brother, you're going to be really happy to see who I found. So Mr. Smiles gets up. He's just... <laughs> oh, damage rating. I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Um, That's I mean, if it's Thulgrim slapping you, it's, it's probably running right at an eight. That's if he's being nice, I guess. It's a love tap. Yeah, no, this wasn't a full-on, he's trying to kill him. This was a, you disrespected me, sir. So. All right, Mr. Smiles gets up. He's just... <laughs> I haven't been hitting like that in quite some time. Lucky for you, I'm a pacifist. I must turn the other cheek, because I'm here to help you, not fight you. At least that's what the entity in my head is telling me. It is true, brother. It is true. It is what I am telling you. That is Thulgrim. He has been accepted as a champion among the Celestials. Ah. What? You were right, brother. Yes. He is mad. He talks to a voice in his head. That's weird. I mean, I used to do the same thing. I mean, yeah, he's crazy. Several people land behind you as you see a Fedora 2, John the Red, oh, uh, Remy, Adin. Miss Briggs, it's you. You're the one that saved me from evil robots. You good citizen, it's nice to see you again. I agree with you, it is always good to see me. But I must have words with my uncle. Did I, did I make this awkward my brain? Big on? red eyebrows just lift up. He puts his phone down. <laughs> uncle, where have you been? I've, I've always been in your heart. <laughs> that is so corny. <laughs> no, no, actually, there's a tiny me inside your heart right oh, now. Oh, God, is that oh, what that murmur yeah. was? That is. Oh, I God. make sure that it keeps beating every time. So, I don't That is slightly I don't, terrifying. I don't so want to alarm you, down. but you both have a heart condition. So, every so often, a tiny me has to hit you in the heart to keep it going and in rhythm. I discovered this. Millennia ago, you know, and so I've doctor, spent so like your whole sense. lives. I took a part of my life, my infinite life. Now, by the way, my life is infinite. And wait, <laughs> why didn't did you just give us infinite life? I don't have that power. I, I don't believe it. I have that been bull gifted bucky. by the gods of time and space. Look at this cool jacket. That is, not, I don't believe this. No, it's cool. I don't believe it. All right, Thulgrim board. Who wants to go fight a dragon? I mean, <laughs> I thought this was what we were here for. 
That dragon back there is destroying everything in this realm. It is consuming all life from lifelessness, if that's even possible. Well, brother, let's do what we do. Fastball special, and let's go spank big dragon. But you're not looking so well. I'm fine. I'll be all right. It eats fire, too. It eats fire? Well, now... Well, no, only one person eats fire, and it's me. Or are you forgetting the lighthouse incident? How can I forget the lighthouse incident? All the books that I threw out. Yeah, so pick me up. Wait, no, I carry the books. For Ulfar, that's yeah, right. Pick me up. Where is he? He's upstairs. Now pick me up and throw me at the dragon. I want to eat it. All right, real quick, uh, Dark, let's go ahead and resolve the last roll, getting the tower back up. Thirty on the dot. All right, so you managed to turn back on the Fedora Two Tower, and Tim seems to be very relieved, even though you can't see a whole lot of expression on his face, just a fake beard. Uh, but you hear a strange name whispering on the wind. Ulfa, Ulfa, Ulfa. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Coming from the well that seems to be bleaking out lights, and uh, of course, Red and Ace are standing at that well. I'll go look. Yes. All right. So He's dark runs well. down. Um, are you still? Chilling outside the well? Or are you looking to go down? Or um, You've seen a lot of people jump down it recently. I have seen a lot of people so jump act, down it. I'm down still like, trying to rub my eyes of like waking up. Because I guess like within a span of time, she's, you know, as if she was just first waking up in the morning. So she's got that like. And A, she'd be there with her if you want to check on her at all. <laughs> Yeah, can I have perception to just check the area? Yeah, just like the area outside yeah. the well? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 27. Okay, so you would notice uh, it's, it's almost like a strange energy that you see. Um, there seems to be a large hole in the sky which you remember used to be a huge star. Mm -hmm. And there seems to be energy being sucked in through that black hole and then into this well. And it's like traveling past you. As that light is pulling energy down, you feel like it's taking some of your own like energy. I don't know if I'd want to go down there to see what it is, though. I don't want to go back to the sky. All right, Dark, you'd be arriving if you wanted to share any of that information with him. I will share that information with him. What's going on? There's a hole in the sky and the well and the well is draining our energy. Whoa. Very Pink Floydish. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so would you go with him or not want to go? I guess if he's going to go, maybe. What about you, ma'am? I'll follow everybody else. Again, if all of you jump into that hole, she will follow you. <laughs> no all pressure. Right. Dark just kind of disappears. I was saying, if the Dark's going like to go, weird... he's just like, well, let's go. I was like, well, I guess. Maybe find out what this is. Smoky cloak of darkness just disappears down into the hole. If the cool kids are doing it, I guess I'll do it too. <laughs> Don't want to be left out. Gosh. All right. So we'd probably let you use your grapple line. So as you're dropping down, instead of like just. Wait, you got a grapple line? Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, no, no, I have. I, I have. Rope. I, I yeah. So I have rope and I have a bow. I don't have my grapple hook anymore. Oh, you could probably just tie the rope onto an arrow and stab it in the side of the well and then yeah. let yourself down. That'd probably yeah. be easier than just to, depending on your knees. She so. has to roll for it. Do I have to roll for it? 
<laughs> so you lower yourself down. I'm assuming that Red would probably travel down that that line with you as well. Can I share so, my whip to anybody else that needs to help climb down? Use that. You're hanging out with a bunch of gods, so right now I think you and you and Ace are the only two that would probably want to defend your cartilage in your knees by not like landing super hard. But yeah, you're basically That's like important. Black Widow and like Hawkeye. Yeah, you're like Black Widow and Hawkeye hanging out with a whole bunch of people that are like, oh, been there, done that, eating some gods. So, all right. So as you get down though, you would actually notice like all of these people just standing there talking about going and and uh, spanking big dragons. If you throw me, okay. I can I can crack it upside your head with new hammer. Hammer, which is almost as tall as soul, by the way. If I can do it, it would be really cool. Brains all over the floor. Trust me. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Wait, you think now? That's good. Yes, I think now. I've, I've been alive for a long time. Uh, me too. Staring out into space. There is nothing. We are alone in the universe. It is very depressing. Portu says, I'm We're not alone. I, I touch soul. You're proof of that. Thanks, April Special. Who's that dude? This guy, this is I'm my little brother. I'm full bloodwind. My little brother. Clearly, tall. champion yes, of the like world. Right. Six foot eight, mm. hunks of muscle and metal. Okay, like, like five mm -hmm. foot six. Just look, he's my little brother. I'm guessing he got an. Do you remember? I'm guessing he got do you remember me ring? saying well, I didn't like the ring. I gave him all my ring. strength when we were mm -hmm. kids, so he wouldn't die. Oh. Ace. Yeah, do you remember what the fuck was saying back at the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember me earlier saying I didn't lick that ring, Fogring licked the ring? Oh, it's that dude! Yeah, He's yeah. the ring That was yes. a bet! <laughs> Pull the ring out, <laughs> by And I do not back down from challenges. I bet you won't lick it again. <laughs> <laughs> no. What you just said, you don't back down from challenges. I think now. Come on. He's read a book or two. He I've read a book. Like black licorice. So what's that thing over there? Oh, that's a dragon. <laughs> what? Oh, the dragon? Like good dragon, bad dragon? Didn't we just have bad a couple dragon. good ones? You do, not, you do not want to fly in the land of hearts with this dragon. Let me tell you. Little reptilian thing <laughs> climbs up onto Thalgrim's shoulder and he goes, That's a very bad dragon. That's the Nidhogg. Nidhogg. Did Whatever. You, did you name that? Your friend, the dragon here, Scab. He has a skin condition. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. That would be like if a mock named me Scrawny. No, he named you Soul. Well, come to think of it. <laughs> Who was that one time he called me Twig? Anyways, I get ahead of myself. Throw me at Dragon. All right, let's start. Fastball you. special, let's go. He picks him up and throws him. Okay, so um, what we'll do is have it rolled off of you, Soul. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be using, I'm assuming, your dex. I'm going to try to hit it with my hammer. So what are you running your hammer? You're running your hammer off your magic? Strength. Strength. Yeah, the only thing that I can do with the hammer differently is I can add... My uh, plus three from my fire rune to the roll. Yeah, melee. All right, nice. what is your strength set at? My strength is a 15. So. Okay. I just want to make sure I don't give you something that you can't roll. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we'll set the difficulty at you hitting it, just hitting it with a 30. Oh, maybe. Just, oh, no, actually, yeah. Because... Do I'm getting am I getting a plus one for him throwing me for mm -hmm. teamwork? That's fine. It's thirty two. Awesome. All right. So what's the you said your base damage is what? It does nine. All right. And you're and not you're not pumping any magic into it. You're just hitting it. Right? Yeah, I'm not using my charge, but anything hit with the hammer. Um. Deal deals fire damage. With the charge. Correct. No. 
Just by itself. Just by the mag. The charge is the magma field. Okay, yeah, gotcha. It's AOE. All right, so what y'all would see is Stolgrim with his mighty strength. He lifts up Soul by his belt, most likely, and just launches him through the sky. Who's screaming? Just like old times. Yeah, and he's got his hammer, and he he slams into the side of this dragon and smashes his hammer into it. Now, as he got closer, he realized. Just like Thulgrim looked like he was about one inch tall when he was really far away from him, <laughs> this thing looked like it was like 20 feet tall when it was really far away from him, and then he realizes it's like 200 feet tall. Oh, this is going to be fun. So he smashes into the side of it and slams his hammer into it and seems to fracture this scale, like the scale-like armor that it has. It fractures into that scale and it cracks. Alden, give us strength. All right, Smiles, you're next. No, wait, God. what? <laughs> Without even permission, he tosses him. All right, so as he throws him, um, screaming through the air, probably laughing like a madman. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So roll his. You, you're using your strength or your dex with him. What is it? It's going to be. Um... I mean, I'm going with the ear tooth blade, full in tow. Okay, so run it off your con. Um, 30 benchmark. Mm. 40. 10 above. All right, so uh, you can go ahead and succeed in the attack plus add an additional effect. Plus add an additional effect? Like what? You get an additional effect. So if okay. you want to either, like as you stab into it, you want to pump some more damage into it or... Extra five. Okay. Yeah, it's... Um, so when I stab into it, yeah, it's I'm going to try to cook its insides. Okay. So uh, go ahead. What's the damage on the ear tooth blade with the fire first? Two blade with the fire. Um, by itself is ten. Be twelve. All right. And then, what's your flame attack at? Uh, the flame attack. Uh, the parafire. Because mm-hmm. uh, you're trying to cook it. Yeah. Right? That's going to be straight up eight. All right, so basically as Smiles squeals across the air, uh, Soul, you're like still trying to like hang on to the side He's of the dragon. He's helicopter spinning right now because Thulgrim just kind of just tossed him yeah. freestyle. So you see him like screaming through the air and then like he stabs into the dragon just right, right near where you were, maybe a few feet away. And he stabs into the side of it and I'm assuming probably cackles like a madman as he starts to try and pump fire into the dragon. <laughs> oh, you like fighting too! This is going to be fun! I of think course we... I like fighting. Well, We've hit it pretty hard. It must be almost dead already. <laughs> right? Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> no. I've never actually fought a dragon before. All right, uh, we'll go ahead in the next in line, Dark. Um, is the opening of the well big enough to call my dragon down? Yeah, you can bring the there down. What oh, you I? don't have to summon him, uh, but he, he, he can just come down. I'm just going to attack him. Send him an attack as well. Okay. Um... What I'm going to want you to do is I will benchmark you against your dragon. Okay. You're going to try to... Do you have anything like persuasion or intimidate on your sheet? I don't think so because um, I just... What do I have here? Maybe, okay, what we'll do, because you, you probably don't, um, you usually run them pretty low on charisma. Right. 
uh, roll your control over him to keep him under your control. We'll roll it through your magic because that's what you're using. You're using your chaos wheel to control right. him. So meet me a benchmark of 25 just using your magic. Twenty. Would you say twenty-five? Yes. I got twenty-five. All right. So he maintains under your control for now. He will fly across the sky with you in tow. You notice that he is several times smaller than what right. this thing is, but he shoots void energy attacks towards the dragon, doing damage to the outside exterior scale armor that it seems to have. So y'all would see this void fire basically plummeting from Nathair as he's like shooting in. Boy, the storm riders ride again. <laughs>